Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com. The title of the project is Systematic Poisoning Attacks on and Defenses from Machine Learning in Health. The abstract of the project is Machine Learning is being used in wide range of applications, domains to discovery, patterns in large data sets. Increasingly, the result of machine learning drive critical decisions in applications related to healthcare and biomedicines. Such health related applications are often sensitive and thus any security breach would be catastrophic naturally the integrity of the results computed by machine learning is of great importance recent research has shown that some machine learning algorithms can be compromised by augmenting their training data sets with malicious data leading to a new class of attacks called poisoning attacks hindrance of diagnosis may have life threatening consequence and could cause disturb disturb and the flow diagram of the project is first we need to start our program and select the ready dig up 99 data set then we use the sample data set in our console working directory then it will process it into data pre processing in data pre processing we are using data cleaning method and label encoding method in data cleaning we are going to check the missing values and null values in our data set if it is contains any missing or null values in our data set we need to replace or drop the columns then it will move into label encoding in label encoding we are going to convert the string data into numerical data so after that it will applied into model selection in model selection we are going to select the independent variable and dependent variable after selecting independent and dependent variable we are going to split our data set into training data set training data set and testing data set then it will move into classification in classification we are using three different types of algorithm two different machine learning algorithm and one deep learning algorithm namely the machine learning algorithms namely naibayes algorithm and support vector machine algorithm and deep learning algorithm namely the current neural network algorithm and three algorithms are used to train our data set and generate the result in the form of matrices like accuracy precision recall f1 score the program was successfully executed in anagonda navigator spider id and this is our first module input module in that i have to read our kdd data set and view the sample data set in our console working directory after that it will implement it into data pre processing in data pre processing i am going to check the null values but in our data set there is no null values contains in our data set so after that i have to apply the label encoding method for selected columns the label encoding method which is used to convert the string values into numerical values so this is the label encoding results for our data set so in that i have to apply the label encoding for protocol type so after that we are going to select our independent variable and dependent variable after selecting independent and dependent variable i am going to split our data set into train data set and test data set so this is our independent attribute result and this is our dependent or target result attributes so this is the count plot between the number of normal classes and number of attack classes obtained from our data set so after that i have to implement the algorithm in that i have to use two different machine learning algorithm and one deep learning algorithm namely naibayes algorithm support vector machine algorithm and the deep learning algorithm name is recurrent neural network algorithm first i have to apply the naibayes algorithm the naibayes algorithm which is provide the accuracy result is 53 percentage to find our data set and these are the classification report for our naibayes algorithm for normal class and attack classes in classification report we are going to generate the precision value recall value f1 score if very for normal and attack classes the precision means number of correct prediction recall means number of correct instance of prediction and f1 score means to test measure the test accuracy and after that i have to find the confusion matrix for naibayes algorithm this is the confusion matrix result for naibayes algorithm the confusion matrix result which is explains the number of correct prediction and number of misclassifications obtained from our naibayes algorithm so our second algorithm is support vector machine algorithm the support vector machine algorithm which is provide the accuracy result is 53 percentage and these are the classification report for our support vector machine algorithm and this is the confusion matrix for our support vector machine algorithm so final algorithm is recurrent neural network algorithm the recurrent neural network algorithm summary result is 
these are the summary result of recurrent neural network algorithm and which is used which is explains the it will extract the trainable parameter from the recurrent layer so based on the trainable parameter we are going to train our data set by using the new recurrent neural network algorithm for 10 different training epochs and it will provide the accuracy result is 87 percentage and these are the classification report for recurrent neural network algorithm and this is the confusion matrix for recurrent neural network algorithm and finally we are going to compare the difference between the performance difference between the neighbors algorithm support the transmission algorithm and recurrent neural network algorithm the recurrent neural network algorithm which is provide the higher results than the other two algorithms and these are all the variable results that we are get from our classes.